Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's bright, it's sunny, it's zero degrees, but I feel the sun. And yeah. zero degrees with sun is a whole lot different than zero degrees with cold. And Sammy let Ruby out. And free! No, don't call her through the mud. Run. Oh God. Do you see her? She loves her window, you guys. Like that was such a good choice. I can't wait till it can be open for her. Hi, princess. So, hello. You guys, so many things that I want to do that I'm like afraid to do. I just need to build up my courage. I want to take over Stella. I want to take over her care. I want to like set a routine. I think that's the only way it's going to happen. I want to set a routine and do all the things. Every day I want to come in and pick her feet and groom her every single day. And then I want to like ride but i'm nervous to ride without our trainer hi sweet princess oh man hi finn good morning willow i need that bucket can you get me that bucket you're not getting out yet <laughs> oh good girl i swear we have the most patient horses ever i'll be right back Girl, you need to meet me at the window every morning. Aww. Yeah, like nothing more glorious than meeting your horse at the window <laughs> every day. <laughs> what is Mother's Day? May. Sassy, sassy, sassy girl. Today's agenda is something so fun. I'm really excited because I know a lot of you guys are going to remember where we're going today and you guys are going to know what it's all about. I love that some of you guys are following along closely enough with our life that you know things and I don't have to explain so much. But before we do anything today, I want to dedicate this video to Lori, one of our day fam. This Ground manners, kids. I taught Stella more manners today. Um, Lori is such an awesome member of our day fam. Today she said, Laura, you have done an amazing job taking care of all of your animals and teaching your girls how to love and take care of them. Great job, and thank you for letting us all be a part of your family day-by-day -day horse journey. Also, the biggest thing I've witnessed from your amazing channel is that dreams do come true. Thank you, Lori, so much for all your kindness. You always have such nice things to say, and you always bring such a spiritual vibe to our comment section, and you are always so supportive of everybody else. I see all your comments, and it's just amazing, so thank you for that. But I wanted to uh, reiterate what she, what Lori said. Dreams do come true, you guys. Like, I was looking at old videos and watching back and saying, yeah, we want to have a farm, and here we are. Like, oh, cow. It just happened so fast. So every day holds the possibility of a miracle. So wake up and see what God has planned for you today. It's supposed to be nice and warm today. I'm covered in hay. Um, but so far it's cold and icy like I just showed you. There's ice outside. Anyway, I'm ready to muck our stall so we can get on the road. Are you excited for what's happening today? Yeah. Horse station. Are you excited for what's happening today? Yes, very excited. But this is what I say to you. Eat your grain, little girl. She has left. Yeah, she's slow, huh? So we have learned a lot in the last year and even more in the last few months having the horses at home. One thing that continues to evade my perception is seeing if your horse is lame. Like, if it's super obvious, I can kind of tell, but when it's super minor, like when Finn got um, a couple of cuts on his leg the other day, that was hard for me to tell. So um, what do you do when you don't know if your horse is lame and if you can ride? You take a video of him trotting and send it to your trainer and she lets you know if you've got the all good.
you guys. Uh, what a disaster. What have you been doing to your tail? It's like he my, oh my Finn what I think he must be itchy next thing to master master in our horsey journey worm Jesus oh, willow, willow. Okay. why why you got to do that is called Horde Station. It is a sales barn and I think it's the only sales barn left in Ontario. And um, I see the candy guys truck. Yeah, like there are animals here, but as long as the candy guys here, here, it's good. Anyway, yeah, we only can come from spring until fall and then it gets too cold. What we usually find here are tons of livestock. It's an auction house, lots of animals. But what we're here today is for the chickens. Uh, it's the beginning of the season, so they're not very much here. Usually it's way more full, but we're gonna look around and see if we can find something. April? And we're early. Yeah, we could go and have breakfast, actually. Um, we might go and have breakfast while we wait for this place to fill up. Um, so many times, though, we came here and we said, oh, if we only had a farm, I'd buy that and that and that. Remember? And stuff. now we have a farm. But I've gotten so much smarter since before, and now I know that I do not want to buy too much stuff that's going to be too but overwhelming for us. But mom, what if we find a cute little Hercules full and they're selling it to the meat market? Then we, we would try and save it. him, uh, but we would not, like we are not in the rescue of horses. We we he could stay in Willow Stall. Yeah, like or Stella Stall because Stella God help Willow. us. God help us. Everything's what? coming in now, though. Like, what do you think is in that truck? Oh. I think goats too or sheep. So I have for breakfast coffee. A medium cup of coffee with a pound of sugar in it. We're so early. We beat everybody. We've never been this early. I don't know what we were thinking. That's what happens when you have a farm. You're always up so early. You think the whole rest of the world is up Guess too. Guess what I had for breakfast? Coffee. A medium cup of coffee with a pound of sugar and that thingy that I just tried, which are good because we're getting okay. Yeah, so that's the coffee, Gabby. That's for what? Do you drink I, coffee? I only no. Drink some good girl. The breakfast that I had was that thing that we tried. Yeah. Guess we'll just open it. Go. Yeah. Oh. Imagine if we found Otis. Oh, look at a baby cow. Was that a baby cow? Oh my gosh. That's a sheep. <laughs> Aww. Gabby's scoop, scoping out a cow because she wants to ride it. But yeah, you guys should know. You guys should know that this is not where ho animals are home. That this is not where they live. They don't live in little pens like that. They're brought here for sale. It is an auction. People come here to buy livestock for their farm. They just arrived today. They just arrived. They're all arriving now, actually. I know it's really hard to see animals in small areas like this and being taken away from their family. This is not a kill pen. This is not a kill shelter. This is nothing like that. It's a livestock auction. So this is where farmers come to sell their livestock and other farmers come to increase their livestock. So usually this is where horses are kept, if there are any horses here. In the past, we would have bought a horse from here before we knew better. So thank goodness. See, you guys, God does have a plan. He know, he knew. We were not ready for a farm before. We had to do a lot of learning and a big, huge, process go through a big huge process i'm locked in before we got a farm Aww. hi hello oh look at that one back there it's adorable that one back there reminds me of stella This is 
absolutely a stressful environment for them, but it's only temporary. By the end of this day, they'll be in their new home. The chicken guy finally arrived. Yeah, we, we should get a rooster. I then a puppy because I hear a dog. I love the barred rock. Right, so we are in the the diner. So they have an old-fashioned diner. It's super cool. So we're splurging from eating healthy, but we are eating everything. We're just eating in moderation, but we're not eating much sugar. But yeah, so like this is it. This is the diner. Wait, is this old fashioned sugar? diner and all the pies are homemade? <laughs> I put like pie? No, I put So we hardly ever have sugar. Yeah, we're up high. I like the little brown baby that's over there. Oh, I love that white one that's just staring right at me. Waiting for the kids in the car and Sam. Oh, it was really hot, really cold. I'm frozen. Little sheep in their van, in their truck. Aww. Still super early in the season, so there's not a lot really available. Like all the chicks are still being hatched and stuff, so there wasn't that much available. We did get a couple of really fun ones. We got one really fun one. I want a pair of silkies. No, I don't necessarily want a pair of silkies. I want two silky um, hens, but I didn't like the looks of those ones. I want like a specific look. So it might cost me a little bit more money than I would normally pay for a chicken, and that's okay, because I definitely want to stick with my guns and get the ones that I want. Uh, we found all the baby goats. All the baby goats are so friendly, and then all the other... So we're going to show you guys what we got. We're going to start with Sam. What did you get for yourself today to add to our farm? I got myself a little chicken. What kind is it? It's a black and white chicken. <laughs> it's a barred rock. It's a barred rock Which chicken. is one of the more aggressive breeds. Not that it's super aggressive or anything, but it's not like a... Oh, look at her! We were nice and calm earlier. So, she's a girl. She's big enough to be sexed. And the boys in this breed tend to be a lighter color. Which, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly 100%, but that's what I believe. I got two of these. So, Gabby got... Wait, what did you get? Gabby got a sausage. I got two of them. Two sausages, you guys. I ate one. You ate one whole sausage? I ate. Okay. And then I got her. What, what is she? Rhode Island Red. Yeah, mix. she's a Rhode Island. No, she's not a mix. She's a Rhode Island Red. Oh. Good. I I love Rhode Island Red. I love we Rhode Island Red, too. We have a bunch of Rhode Island Reds. Yeah. Like, every year we, we would get, like, three of them. Yeah, I love that. Old. And what did you get? One of those pepperettes. 
You got a pepperette? The same thing that Gabby got? That is not a pepperette. That's a big, huge, honking sausage. But so, I only got one. What kind of chicken and then did you got get? This baby girl. What kind is it? I don't know. Her name is Molly. She is a leghorn, so she's gonna be all white. She's like Look, she's so your wing up there. Ready. <gasps> Mom, she meets Ruby. Be careful because Ruby is gonna be a chicken eater. I can Ruby, because I can already tell. She's so, Mom. She's so snuggly though. Yeah, so we, we tried to get chickens that were similar size to our chickens. So when we introduce them, it'll be a lot easier. I'll show you. Can we like, do it on the table? I just want to point out that Laura did not get a chicken. So let's see if they're, yeah, they're like um, probably really close to the same age. Oh, I love the Rhode Island Red. So these are like backyard mixes. So this is like a mixture of this and Sophie's white one. Aww. Mm -hmm. Aww. I love her. You're adorable. She does not try to jump out of so your So, these guys are ready to... Be a dog. Are close to being ready to go outside. No, put it so, right we're going to work on that. All right, phase one complete. I know, we have a little thing that they can get up there. But this is the beginning, you guys. This is just the small beginning of our chicken coop. We are headed to uh, the girls' riding lessons this week. Finn is still not completely perfect. He's really close, but she doesn't want to push him if he's a little tiny bit sore, and I'm, I'm okay with that. So Sophie's going to have a lesson on Storm, and I think that that's a good idea because it's going to keep her riding it's gonna help her progress with her riding because right now she's trying to work with Finn and that's that changes how she rides right because she's trying to deal with him and his behavior so she's gonna ride on storm today and Gabby's gonna follow that with her lesson on storm but before we get to the barn I have to tell you guys something something crazy happened and I mean super crazy you know our trainers we have Fiona and we have a race car driver they have a YouTube channel you guys they actually have their very own YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to put the link below and you can see what it's all about. They are actually doing something so bizarre on their channel. I've never actually seen it done before and I'm really excited to see how it progresses. So follow the link. You are going to get to meet Fiona and race car driver in their own element. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.